We got a real staring contest going on here. Okay. Action time on the wall. Whoa. <laughs> that wasn't what I expected. Good afternoon. Welcome to Gokarna. This is going to be a very interesting video. I'm excited about it and you should be too. So in a previous video here in Gokarna, I told the story of how I ended up here the first time back in 1999. So I was uh, traveling throughout India up in the north and somebody told me about a rainbow gathering happening at Gokarna. A rainbow gathering is a hippie festival in the woods, an alternative community experience and artistic creative journey. with a bunch of people just sitting around, hanging out, making music, making food together, etc. I'd been to them previously, and so I made it a uh, plan to head down here and try to find the Rainbow Gathering for uh, basically New Year's 2000, 1999 going into 2000. I arrived in Gokarna, looked around the town, heard about the beaches, but didn't have specific information about uh, where exactly to find the gathering happening. I go to Om Beach, okay, uh, taxi service, Ganga Valley. Ganga Valley. Yeah. Kidna Ganga Valley. Okay, you need taxi? Yes. How many people? Only me, one. Just drop. Drop, drop, yes. Okay, okay. How much? 300 rupees. 300? Okay, yes. Yeah. Let's do it. Really? So That's $3. It's about a 15 minute drive. This car? Yeah. This one, okay. Gangavali River, yeah, river, river and then cross. Yes. Yeah, just, you can go no, by no, after no, boat. Boat, across, yeah. okay, cool. No, no, no. So, uh, what I discovered is that the rainbow gathering was up there. <laughs> where I'm going right now. So that is the adventure is to uh, repeat this experience. Okay. And drop, 300 rupees, yes. Thank you, thank you. Here we go. This is gonna be fun. All right, so uh, things have changed in 23 years. They are building a bridge. Other than that though, not much. Whoops, looks like I need to be over there. Boat is ready to go, it looks like. I will explain more of the uh, story on the other side, I guess. Let's see uh, how long of a wait it's gonna be. Thank <laughs> you. 
Looks like we are off. So that was like seven cents. Amazing. Okay, so there was a temple that I saw from the uh, river right over there. So let's uh, go check it out and I will explain uh, a little bit more about what's going on, including my past experience of trying to find a hippie rainbow gathering at a nude beach in India. Now, calling it a nude beach is definitely a stretch, especially now, there are not going to be any nude people on that beach. But, there were when I was there. So, I arrived in Gokarna, went out to Kudli and Om beaches to try to find the rainbow gathering. No luck, nobody around looking like they were involved in a rainbow gathering. And so I headed back to town, was walking down the street there, the main street in Gokarna, and somebody shouted at me from one of the dabas or one of the like juice stand places along the street there and they said hey are you looking for the rainbow gathering i looked the part i had dreadlocks i was probably looking around a little bit confused and uh so this guy gave me the whole explanation and the directions the rainbow gathering was across the river here at honey bell beach honey bell beach is roughly that way. So the Arabian Sea and the various beaches around here is right out there. Most of the beaches are south of Gokarna. Here we are north of Gokarna. And so somehow in the process of the next day or so of making my plans and getting ready to come out here, which was going to involve bringing all of my stuff and also bringing some supplies, some extra food, because I would be living out here at the Rainbow Gathering for I didn't know how long. And so I met another guy who was also planning to go to the Rainbow Gathering, and we joined up, took the uh, rickshaw or taxi ride or whatever here, boat across, and then got here, and then we had these directions that I had written down, which I am then going to uh, follow to the best of my memory, and also having looked on the map on Google previously, I have uh, my phone and can make use of that uh, as well if necessary. Now, the way that we went was not the best way because we got lost. I am going to go that way again for the adventure. To try to retrace my steps, see how it goes, you end up going through the jungle along the coast. There were cliffs. We didn't like climb down the cliffs, but uh, big cliffs there. Eventually, we found the beach, the Paradise Beach. Now, I am prepared to be disappointed when I arrive there, not only because there won't be any naked hippie girls, but also because I heard that they built a big resort on the beach there. At the time, it was just a beach near some farmer's fields, kind of like this right here. Nobody else there other than all the hippies at the Rainbow Gathering, although that changed later when word apparently got out that there were naked foreigners there and random Indian guys showed up and were staring around and stuff. But uh, anyways, let's uh, take a look at this temple and then turn around, head back, try to find the Paradise Nude Hippie Beach. We got some annoyed dogs and here's the temple. Classic uh, Indian homes in this part of India. There you go. 
swastika. It means, it is good. A little like prayer hall, I guess. And then maybe this is the main temple. Okay, let's keep on cruising. So this village almost looks smaller than I remember it. I thought there was more of a proper village right here, but it's just like a little scattering of a few homes. And I am already unsure where to go. That bus is probably going to Ancola. But I know that I need to get over to the coast, so let's go this way. I thought that I was going to go like that and then take a left at a junction, but uh, that very well was just incorrect. That might be the most direct way to Honeybell Beach, the Paradise New Beach, but uh, I want to try to retrace my steps, see if I recognize anything along the way. I have a very clear image of uh, this kind of rural area walking along a little Kind of bigger than a path, but uh, smaller than a road, just like a dirt track through like home similar to that. And then it took a steep right up a hill into the trees. And that is where we got kind of lost in the forest. So uh, it's an adventure. Let's see what happens. Try to avoid the cobras. So I succumbed to temptation and looked at my phone, curious to see how far away that beach actually was and what the route was that it showed for me to get there. In the process, I realized it is a bit more of an adventure than I had realized. And uh, as expected then, the uh, route that is being recommended is not where I'm going. It is back to the bridge out there and over. If you do that walking, it is 7.2 kilometers. Hello, man. Or an hour and a half. I thought it was more like a couple kilometers or something. So, uh, especially tromping through the jungle without a trail, I mean, I did it once before, so it is possible. But, uh, am I really in the mood for that big of an unknown journey at the moment? For one thing, I'm getting kind of hungry. I have water, plenty of water, but there's going to be nothing along the way. I assume that there will now be yeah. restaurants. Hello. Hello. YouTuber. YouTuber, yes. What is your channel name? Gabriel Traveler. I you. Cool, man. Anyways, one step at a time. We'll just uh, take it as it comes. Maybe try an alternate route or who knows what. Okay. That looks familiar. All right. Now, the little bit of good news is that if I go this way, it actually should be shorter than the 7.2 kilometers. So maybe it will be quicker than uh, walking all the way around, but maybe not. So I definitely just kind of vaguely recall this junction. Hello, and I'm gonna say with this like bus stop or whatever it is. And maybe a school over there. 
I'm not going to go that way along the coast, but uh, now, oh man, we got a lot of choices. I think this, plus it looks like the most fun. Namaskar! Got a Namaskar back. That's a good sign. Also, another guy on a bike said Namaste to me as I uh, went past. I wasn't quite sure, like, how much it would be uh, spoken here in South India since that's, well, it's Sanskrit, but it's more Hindi. Okay, another choice. Is this the steep hill? There are steps. Hello. 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 Do you know Honey Bell Beach? But if I want to go this, no. this way, no? no? Not good? Okay. Thank you. Thank you. That is not a good sign. But I am just very curious to see where this is going. Hello. Namaste. Yes. That's a red dirt road. But like a bridge and then, then uh, bridge and then like this. Then that's a red dirt road. Round up for? Red dirt. Okay. Walking? Yes. Red dirt road. Just little, little ways and then left? Yes. Only little and then left? Yeah. Okay. Red dirt road. Oh, that's main, side. big, big road. Yes. Big road. Because I want to go no, no. forest. Yes. Not not good? Yeah. No. Maybe this just this like here? That's that road there is the long road, huh? Yeah, the long road, the big yeah. right, okay. Hello. And this goes uh that side no go. Arabian Sea? Beach? Yes, beach yeah, that side. To a beach that way, yeah. Okay. Thank you. Yeah. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. See there's this hill here. So you gotta get up and over the hill. The question is Hello Namaskar. Namaste. Namaskar. Namaste. I suspect that this is like gonna end and then there's gonna be one of the cliffs or something. I am going to take the trail that is all covered with leaves. Ay 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 ay. This one. It took a steep right up a hill into the trees, and that is where we got kind of lost. These steps are going somewhere, apparently not very well traveled, but look at this. This is getting into serious adventure mode. So this is a good point at which to plug my book. Following my thumb, A Decade of Unabashed Wanderlust, which chronicles my travels from 1990, when I went to Europe for the summer, up until 2000, when I came to India for the first time for five months and came to Gokarna. So I tell the full story of trying to find this beach in that book. So check the link down below. A whole bunch of uh, travel stories from my early wandering days. And the trail keeps on going, so that is good. Going to be high time for a water break in just a minute. So I've been seeing a few offshoot trails going off to the right, which is the direction that I will want to go. The beach is up there, but I don't want to get lost down one of those smaller trails, I want to get to the edge, the edge of the cliff, looking out at the Arabian Sea, and then I will know that from there, I just got to go right and get through whatever is in the way, and then I will get there eventually, or at least 
that's the way that it worked out the first time. So here I'm going to go right and hope that I see the sea soon. It looks like I found some fellow hikers. You guys going to Honeybell Beach? Is this the way? Am I on a suicide mission? Okay. Tough choice, this one. Over to the coast, hopefully, or the right general direction. This trail is relatively clear. I think I will go with the right, literally and figuratively, direction. Or more like straight ahead, I guess. That is not the last of my water. I have another full water bottle inside my pack. My water bottle that I take with me that is insulated that will uh, keep this cold water colder than it is now in this plastic bottle. So, once again, junction time. That is going downhill, down into a valley. Here we have a fairly clear trail going basically the right exact direction, at least to the best of my assessing the situation. So I'm going to go with that. So I just finished writing a book about getting lost in the wilderness. The whole problem that occurred in that case in Northern California was that the trails disappeared. A wilderness area that I had been to many times before and where there had always been nice clear trails. And then I ended up on this trail trying to get back to the trailhead on a trail that I hadn't taken previously, and the trails disappeared and left me wandering off trail in the wilderness. That is an experience that I hope to avoid. As you can see, as soon as you're off trail, it is a totally different situation trying to hack through brush like this. Now, to the best of my recollection, we were off trail when we got lost, but we were closer to the coast. So at this point, I'm not sure if I should have stuck with my plan at the beginning to get to the coast first and then go right. But looking at that trail, I am not at all confident that it is going to get me anywhere. So, I am going to change plan and go the other way, not go back, but go left up here on this trail that looked much more substantial, which seems to be heading down into the valley. And then the hope is that uh, down in the valley is where there will be the farmer's fields that I remember walking through on my way back. When I left the rainbow gathering, then I uh, hiked back solo, and uh, I didn't go the Lost in the Woods route that I'd taken to get there. So it was fairly clear paths along fields from there to where I got dropped off by the boat, where the bridge is there. So I might just abandon the plan to get there the same way that I went before. Look at this, a very uh, solid trail, at least for now. And instead, try to get down into those farmer's fields. And then from there, it should be a pretty straightforward hike. And that trail gets smaller. I am now basically going off trail, but 
I think this is a fairly sure bet. I hear chickens. I'm almost at the bottom of the hill. I think that this will get me to a farmer's home and field. fairly soon. That is the hope. That is the gamble. Otherwise, I could still get my way back from here. I remember all the junctions pretty well, but looking good already. Wide open space up ahead and some structures. Bingo. All right, all right, all right. Look at that. Wow. This is working out. I could check the phone and find out if I'm actually in the right valley because for all I know, it could be other side of that hill there that is the proper valley to go straight into Honeybell Beach. But I think this is probably the right one, and I won't have to go up and over that. Even if it's still a little ways up the coast, then maybe there's a way to get around. Because, I mean, that's how we did it. We were following the coast. And then, after a while, because we were seriously starting to wonder if we were just totally lost, eventually we came to sort of a cliff. Not exactly a cliff, fortunately, because we had this vision of the beach. We could see it. We could see the hippies on the beach. It was steep downhill, but we were able to get down it. So I don't think there should be that big mountain in the way. Okay, classic Indian village here. With horned cows blocking the way. Okay, let's uh, go for it. Oh. <laughs> it is coming my direction. Ay, 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 ay. Let's maybe ask the villagers. Okay. Namaste. Honey Bell Beach. This. Danyavad, thank you. Okay. Very good. Honey bell? Straight. Thank you. <laughs> and look at that. That looks like a road. And we have confirmation from locals. This is looking good. Much better than getting all scratched, banged up, tripping through brush and cobra infested forest. I think I'm saved. So I wonder if this road is new since I was here 23 years ago. Because uh, I remember distinctly going along little paths through the fields here. Maybe at some point I did get to a road, but it is of course quite possible that this is new and maybe was constructed by the, or at least uh, constructed as a result of the new resort at Honeybell Beach. That would make sense. Four. Does that mean four kilometers to go to the beach? If so, that's a bit of a walk in the hot sun, 2.5 miles or so. So I thought that I would address for anyone who wants to criticize me for going shirtless, walking around local villages, walking past village women without a shirt on, in the main temple in Gokarna, there was a man with no shirt on. Now, that doesn't mean that uh, just going shirtless wherever is, you know, fine. Personally, I wouldn't go walking around Gokarna town without a shirt on. I have seen other foreigners doing it, I wouldn't do that. But 
I really don't think it's a problem at all, you know, walking around, especially out in the fields like this, even if you do see a few people around, but uh, I'm sure that they aren't terribly offended. It is hot. Everybody understands that. And they do give you a little bit of a break as a foreigner, but I've seen local Indian guys going shirtless also outside. And we have a sign, a very literal sign. Honey Beach, straight ahead. Boom, mission almost accomplished. But what does that say? TBM? So it doesn't seem to say how far it is. And so far, no traffic out here. I'm really hoping to at least catch a ride back in a rickshaw. If there is the hotel there, then there will likely be rickshaw drivers waiting there. We'll see. Okay. Huh. Not sure what to make of this. Another road marker which says six. So that seems to be sort of good news that the numbers are getting bigger going this way because then that would mean that the four didn't mean four kilometers this way but the other way except that I didn't just walk two kilometers. It was only like a couple hundred meters between the two. So those two are not both saying kilometers at least. That wouldn't make any sense. So basically no help from those. So that path right there is exactly how I remember it from the hike previously, not specifically this home or anything, but uh, just like that little trails going through the fields. And then it was pretty obvious which way to go because you basically just follow the valley down that way. Okay, we have our first vehicle. And I am now officially really dang hungry. I hope that there is a restaurant at this supposed hotel. Scarecrow. Or scare whatever kind of birds they have around here. A running cow. And a man getting out of its way. I guess I'll do the same. Although uh, this little guy doesn't look too ferocious. Looks like the man is actually going into the woods. And that might be his home. Let's see if I'm about to get viciously attacked by a uh, wild and crazy rabid cow. Oh, he's really looking at me. Maybe I'll take the safer route. home for how many people it's so small that one's a little bit bigger unless that could be some sort of a uh, like shed or something probably is home I would guess wild this is the real deal. And another cow. Normally I just have no reservations about getting close to them, but some of these guys have been a little bit uh, just looking at me suspicious. Probably I look weird to them and they're not sure what I'm doing. So here we have a totally different kind of road marker. 0.737. And then there it says 5. Now, that makes more sense. The 5 feels like that could have been a kilometer since the 4. And then here it says 2.7. So hopefully, 
that thing was saying 0.7 kilometers to Honey Beach, Honey Beach, Honey Bell Beach. In which case, I'm just about there. A temple up ahead. I remember a temple. Wow, it is really colorful. Actually, that looks different from the one that I remember. Okay, great news. Honey Beach Road, Honey Bale. So it's not actually Honey Bell, it's Honey Bale. Maybe it's some local word, Honey Bale, Honey Beach, Ancola. Ancola is the nearest town to here, bigger than Gokarna, and there you can see, boom, Arabian Sea. We are almost there, but there is a temple in the way, and the paved road stops at it. Oh yeah, the beach is just right there, that point seven might have been referring to that. So here we have the trail, and in my way is a hardcore cow staring at me. So that might have been here before, and this might be new. I could be wrong, but uh, I don't recall such a colorful temple. And looking at it from here, it looks like it's really new. Like they haven't even finished the uh, entrance area there yet. Okay, how to get around these cows. Here's what I'm gonna do. Staring at me. We got a real staring contest going on here. Okay, action time on the wall. Whoa. <laughs> that wasn't what I expected. The idea was to get around them this way, but now they're in the way again. Okay. Here's the next plan. It is time to get aggressive. Hey! <clears throat> Boom. Of course, I wasn't throwing the rock trying to uh, hit one of them. All right, so this is probably the same road that I came up the last time. Or maybe it was a smaller trail then. And we have another cow looking at me suspiciously. Okay, what to do now? Ay -ay 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 -ay. I am grabbing a rock purely as defense. Okay, he's like snorting. <sighs> this has never been an issue for me in India before, ever that I can recall, having such a problem with cows in the way that are potentially aggressive. Let's just kind of see how, uh... okay. Ay, 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 so close. I don't know what to do, what to do. Try to scare him back down that way, but then he's just in my way again. Let's uh, let him try to pass. Okay. And here we go, guys. We have pretty much made it. Look at that sight. All right, all right, all right, all right, all right. Man, oh man. Things worked out as well as they could have. If I had ended up back in the forests, it would have been a whole different adventure as I know from previous experience, 
but who knows it could have been worse maybe the forest is thicker now maybe there would have been other obstacles along the way so uh this was just an ultimate day of exploring in india but it is not looking like there's going to be some sort of a resort up here or a rickshaw ride back. I was fully expecting basically this to be ruined. I thought resort on Honey Beach and it's going to be just like right here in these fields, a big road, a big, you know, parking area, cars, wedding parties. It is just the same. More of a road probably, maybe a new temple. Otherwise, it is totally deserted. Is there gonna be anybody else there? I thought it was gonna be this crowded beach. Let's not get my hopes up yet, but uh, this might not be so different from how it was 23 years ago. What an absolute trip to be thinking back on the memories walking along the same road 23 years ago with dreadlocks which i then cut off just a few days later in matakari i shaved my head in spring of 1995. i just decided to get rid of the typical short haircut that i'd had for my entire life shave the head and just let it grow back and so i didn't cut it from 1995 until 2000, so five years of just letting the hair grow and turn to dreadlocks. And then in Matakari, I just decided I was ready for a change. I cut them off myself. I kept three dreadlocks hanging, two little skinny long dreadlocks on the side, on each side that I had used before. They were natural, but uh, to tie up my dreadlocks. And then one big one that like came out of the back here that hung down. And I kept those for not too long, a few months. And then it wasn't growing out very well, and so I just decided to shave it again that spring, basically exactly five years later, shaved it again and let it grow out, and then that was the last time that I shaved my head. Wow, here we are. And it has not changed. Whoa. Now, this is new, I'm pretty sure. I don't think that these buildings were here. I don't think that they would have chosen to have the Rainbow Gathering here if the buildings had been here. Because the idea is to be away from civilization, away from anybody else who isn't part of the gathering. Nobody here. Unreal. So, there you go. My memory is quite different of seeing the beach for the first time because we basically just barely emerged from the trees. I could just be wrong, but it may be that there is a hill up above there that you can't quite see. Another hill that was forested, or maybe I just got it wrong. Maybe we just came over that and then saw the beach and were immensely relieved, as you can imagine. So. This is still a nude beach. If nobody else is there, it's a nude beach. Found it. The title isn't clickbait. Where is the resort? I think that I saw a sign on the road from the bus that said Honey Bell, Honey Bale, whatever, or Honey Beach Resort, something like that. And so that's what alerted me to the resort. And so it was basically because of that sign that I decided not to come out here the previous times because I thought, you know, what's the point? It's just going to be a crowded beach with a resort right on it. Preserve the memory of this pristine, lovely little beach with nobody else here. And so I'm just totally confused. I guess it's just called that because it's a few miles away or something. 
Wow. How freaking ultimate did this adventure turn out to be? Yesterday I had this conundrum of whether to do this adventure or not. I was seriously considering whether to just get going today or to go for it and try to get out here. Very glad that I did it. I am not going to go nude in there. I don't want to take my chances, but uh, you could. Thinking back on it, then it was definitely a little bit risky of us. It's not like everybody was naked all the time, but people were sometimes. But, uh, you know, this could have been like raided by the police if word got out, because that is definitely not acceptable in India. I don't know if there's a single nude beach, official nude beach in India, probably not. Almost certainly not. So, either officials never heard about it or they just didn't really care or whatever. But uh, I distinctly remember like Indian guys standing on top of some of the rocks and the hill and stuff just looking down like they didn't really come into the gathering. Maybe one did or something, but mostly they just kind of hung out on the perimeter there and just like were staring. So as for how long I was out here for, I don't remember exactly, but uh, probably a week-ish, I don't know five to eight days something like that and so we were just camped around here like people didn't really have tents maybe somebody did but most of us did not have tents it was this time of year well it was earlier it was end of december of course going into 2000 and so it was perfectly warm and sunny as it is now basically no chance of rain so we just slept on the beach on like cloths sarongs or whatever blankets laid out and just hung out. We did runs into town to get food, to get the supplies to cook food out here. So we made our own meals, just stayed out here for most of the time other than town runs every few days. Maybe I did like one town run or something, but otherwise just hanging on this beach for a week with cool people, talking, making music, swimming, I don't remember even going on any adventures, like hikes up into the mountains or anything. Just hanging out here. So yeah, those were some memories. All right, time to take a swim. I'm just gonna go in my hiking shorts. I have swim trunks in the bag here, but uh, might as well wash these things off. That water is gonna feel dang good. Where am I going to find some food? I am getting hungry fast. But, looks like I'm walking it back. What a day this has been. With a nice, cool ending. Walking back. I'm tired, I'm hungry, I'm hot, but otherwise doing fine. So up ahead is a junction. I just saw a rickshaw go that way. Not sure how far I've walked so far, but uh, maybe like four kilometers or something. So the bridge and the place to catch the boat is this way. I think that I'm more than halfway there. Red Earth, 3.4 kilometers. That could be roughly where I was at the beach. Bus stop. Construction zone. Oh.
Okay, come on rickshaw. I'm ready for a ride. Hello. Look at them green fields. Cute puppy. Uh, Your house? Uh, dog. House? Uh, Your house, yeah. Hello. What is <laughs> Ganga Valley? What? Ganga Valley? Uh, Ganga. Ganga Valley, Gokarna. Uh. Danyavad, thank you. Okay. The boat is there. Slow, slow. Yeah. Oh, ten. ten minutes. Oh, yeah. Ten. Okay. Sugar cane juice. Yes. I can learn it. I can learn it. I can learn it. I can learn it. I can learn